Hey, good morning, everyone. It's not punishment. <laughs> I just want to remind us all that today. Joy Bowen here, live, sweaty, no makeup after an awesome day two. Oh my gosh. Day two was my jam. I love it. Um, Here, I'm feeling like I want to change something here. Yes. You know, I just feel a little more confident without makeup to be black and white. <laughs> Feels a little more like, um, you know, the, the diva old school movies or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to come here and tell you what my mind shift was today. Because here's the thing about this program. I don't know if you heard my, um, I was live yesterday with Andrew. And we shared how we really feel like this is personal. Hey, babe. Um, personal development for your body. In other words, like, it's so much more than just a workout. Like, Chris Downing brings such an energy and positivity to him. And you know what? He sings in the workout. So, like, I was, I'm gonna, um, I got permission to share just a little snippet with you from the workout. So, I'll edit the video and share that in a minute of my favorite part where, he is like singing us through <laughs> these uh, reps. And um, I was cracking up. I'm like, oh my gosh, like he totally gets me because I do that all the time. Um, so anyway, but what I wanted to share with you today was my mind shift um, from the workout. So at the very end, um, and we, I think we all know this um, at some level, but we tend to forget it. Like yesterday, I definitely didn't feel this. <laughs> I felt like, um, I felt like exercise was a punishment, but you know, Chris reminded us all like, Hey, this isn't a punishment. <laughs> this is, this is a, this is a blessing to be able to move our bodies, right? It's not a punishment to exercise. Um, and yet so many people feel like it is a punishment. Does that make sense? Um, because it pushes us out of our comfort zones. Um, yesterday, I definitely felt like that with the cardio uh, workout. It was hard. Cardio is not my jam. Cardio is my greatest weakness. It's probably my biggest area of improvement. And so yesterday, I, I mean, I got, when I got to the other side, and here's the epiphany I wanted to share with you. When I got to the other side, I could find gratitude in it. Does that make sense? But when I was being stretched and going through it, it felt like a punishment. Um, but I think the reason why Andrew and I have made the mind shift to um, healthy living in moderation, like we're not perfect. We still, well, I mean, not now. For six weeks, we're all on point. And yesterday, my nutrition was rocking and I didn't snack at night and I slept great. I actually woke up before my alarm, but that's a whole other thing. Um, kind of tangenting. <laughs> but um, I think the reason why Andrew and I have made the shift to thinking that, you know, healthy living is a, a privilege, it's a blessing, is because we both have gone through those pivotal moments where we couldn't do it. You know, like he was in ICU and nearly died, you know, um, that gives you a greater appreciation for this machine, this, this beautiful vessel that we are given. Um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And so I understand like how in a blink you can go from like, and I don't feel sick. I didn't even, it was the weirdest thing, right? Like I didn't feel sick throughout the whole journey until surgery day. And then obviously I realized, nope, this is a pretty big thing. And so when you go through those pivotal moments in your life, you recognize the fragility of each breath that we take and what a blessing, what an honor it is to move our bodies in a way that helps us feel stronger. Does it feel that way when you are just getting started and you're in the thick of it and you're doing something outside your comfort zone? Not always, right? Yesterday I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> I'm not kidding. But to, but as soon as I was done with the workout, I was like, I did it. I didn't give up. I didn't quit. I did it. And so if you wrestle with the fact that like, you know, exercise and healthy living is a punishment, it's, 
It's not, you guys. It's a blessing. Um, and you just have to get started. I think we get in our heads far too much. And that's what, it's like a little broken record. It's that little lie up here that tells you that it's going to hurt or it's hard or you, you're not going to make it or you're not going to get the results or, um, you know, it's just not going to ever feel good. Like that's a little broken record. And so today, like I want you even in the comments below or send me a message if you don't want to comment publicly, but I want you to start playing a new record in your mind and say, um, it's a blessing. Life is a blessing. Like claim that in the comment comments below. Life is a blessing. And when you have a grateful heart, when you position yourself from an attitude of gratitude, you start to build upon that and do things that then bring more gratitude into your life, like honoring your body. So today was weightlifting. It was my damn. Um, it was hard. There was some sneaky cardio in there, Mr. Chris Downing. Um, that, yeah, that one exercise, I'm not going to even tell you guys about it. But it, I got it. I did it. And I feel better. So I'm off to go eat my breakfast. And you guys, here's the thing. Like, I had to set, hey, Jennifer, I had to set alarms on my phone to remind me to stop what I am doing and feel my body. Does anyone relate to that? I work like straight through um, my meals sometimes. And so Andrew and I were like, Joy, you're gonna, if you're gonna be totally on point for this meal plan and not eating broccoli at 11 o'clock at night, you're going to have to set an alarm and plan out your day. We'll prep your food, your alarm will go off and it'll remind you to stop your crazy busy life stop the laundry stop the whatever and go have a meal and fuel your body so you can continue to give the best of yourself today you guys i got up early the dogs are fed fozzy didn't eat his um foot off like it's crazy so i um moved up my alarm by like a half hour and i'm thinking that maybe next week i might even move it up earlier do you guys know i love sleep do you guys know that I love to sleep in? Do you guys even realize what getting up before 6.30 means as a, a massive shift in my life? It's a little scary, but you know what? I was excited to get up today. <laughs> and I felt really good that there was so much done before I even pressed play. So, work in progress, it's not perfect but I sure do feel awesome on day two. So anyway, gotta go hit my recover, gotta go hit my breakfast. I love you guys. Remember, comment below, life is a blessing. It's not a punishment to honor the breath that we are given. Love ya.